Well, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at removing antivirus products from your computer. Now, you may think that this is going to be straightforward and go into control panel and uninstall programs and, and stuff like that. It's not that simple. Sometimes what happens is you get issues when you go to uninstall antivirus programs. It leaves remnants behind and then you have trouble trying to install uh, a new antivirus product if you're changing products. Okay, so here we have a Norton antivirus, which is one of the most common ones that people have issues with. And the reason why is it becomes bundled with most new computers that you buy as a trialware. And then when the trial runs out, you try to uninstall it. And sometimes you can run into issues or maybe it crashes when you try to uninstall and then you get issues like that. Now, this is not the only uh, antivirus program that causes this. There's loads of different ones that cause it. Kaspersky, McAfee. Uh, Bulldog, uh, Bitdefender, all of them uh, have this issue, okay? Now the reason why is because it's controlling the operating system uh, with its uh, software and when you go to remove it, if there's anything left behind, you'll have trouble installing any new product. So they do come up with these new uh, tools to actually remove these and I'll show you a big long list of them. ESET's put a nice long list up here for you which gives you all the removal tools for their antivirus product. Now you'd have thought they'd have built that into the actual antivirus itself, but they don't. And then people go to uh, control panel and add and remove programs and then have issues with it. So these are the most common ones as you can see. We've got all the list of the most common ones and if yours is not listed here, then you will have to hunt for it. But pretty much I'm sure you've got one of these products here, okay? Now all you need to do is come here and download your product. I've already downloaded uh, Norton's one, but you can see Norton's tool here, Norton Removal Tool. This will remove uh, all Norton products, okay? You just download that tool. Once you've got that, I've got that on the system. Now you don't go and run this straight off the bat. What you need to do is go to Add and Remove Programs, okay? So first off, we're gonna go to there. Now you don't wanna look for the actual uninstall program unless you've got this look and then you want to go to uh, programs and features and then here you can see a long list of stuff here okay now what we want to do here is remove this so we're going to uninstall this from here and sometimes people have issues where it crashes or it doesn't uninstall properly and they need to remove remnants of it so we're going to go through the process here of uninstalling it's going to remove everything Okay, wants us to restart now, so we're going to quickly restart. And we'll let this boot up. Now you want to use this method on every version of Windows, okay? Windows 8, Windows XP, Windows Vista. This is the one you, method you want to use, okay? And it will get you back up and running in no time. Okay, it's re really now booted. So we can now close this off. And I will put the links in the description. Another tool that you're gonna need is this tool here. It's called Everything uh, Search Engine. It will search everything on your system. Now just in case there's anything left behind, we can use this to search for any Norton folders and files that are left behind on their removal tool. Okay, now I've already got this downloaded. I've downloaded a portable version. So here we have our Norton removal tool. So what we want to do here is we want to run this as administrator. And you can see it gives you the actual list of what it's compatible with. I'm going to accept the agreement here. Go next. It wants me to put in this anti-spam uh, thing here. So I'm just going to quickly put that in. And then we're going to run this. And this will look for any remnants on the system and remove them. Okay, it's now saying it wants to restart again, so we're going to restart. Okay, we're back at the desktop.
Okay. So that's now done. So let's just quickly check our uninstalled programs area. Okay, it's still something here. We can remove this. Okay, now that's done. What we can do now is uh, run the everything tool, okay? So I'm going to quickly run this as administrator. And what you want to do is just going to put in here Norton. And you can see there's a load of folders and stuff that's still left behind, okay? Norton installer in program data. Uh, and the other Norton folder here there's loads of other stuff here that's related to Norton okay so we're going to remove this from the system because we don't want any remnants left behind just in case uh, we go to install another product then you're going to end up having issues okay so all these are just images here so they're not really some so much of an issue and there's the actual tool on my desktop so I'm not really too worried about that in the prefetch area we can get rid of that and there's a log file here but I can remove all of this if I wish like so and that's now all removed another one we want to do Symantec we just want to make sure there's nothing in there related to that and I'm going to remove all of this stuff from there okay now pretty much that system is now clean and thoroughly uh, removed all parts of Symantec and Norton from the system and after you've done that you should be able to install um, any other antivirus program or you can reinstall uh, Norton if you wish but other than that that's how you remove any type of um, antivirus program from a computer safely without any issues and you should be back up and running and be able to install any product okay so i hope this helps you out guys my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you find this helpful then hit that like button guys it really does help me out and also subscribe to my channel for the latest updates when i upload new videos okay and i shall see you in the next video so thanks again bye for now